Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Claire Dusigbe. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Bootstrap 5.2.3 in ASP.NET. All right. So currently I'm using Visual Studio um, Professional um, 2022. So if you have it already, just open it if you want to follow alongside the video. So what we are going to do right now is that we are going to create a new project and we are going to use um, C Sharp, that's ASP.NET with C Sharp. So for me to do that, I'm going to click on File. I'm going to navigate to New and then Project. All right, so for this, I have already selected mine for as Web and then Windows and then C Sharp as my code behind. All right, so I'm going to scroll down and then I'm going to look for ASP.NET web application, that's .NET Framework. Then I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to click on the next button. All right, so for the uh, project name, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And then the .NET Net Framework, that's the framework. I'm just going to use, uh, I'm just going to leave it at .NET Framework 4.8. Then I'm going to click on Great. All right, so I'm just going to leave this as empty ASP.NET application. Then I'm going to click on create. I'm going to close this guy. All right, so I'm going to navigate to my solution explorer. All right, so on my solution explorer, I'm going to, we are going to install Bootstrap 5.2 point three in our project so for we to do that i'm going to right click on our project name then i'm going to click on manage nuget packages all right so for this i'm going to click on the browse tab i was going to wait for it to load a little bit all right so on the search text box I'm going to type bootstrap. All right, so I'm going to click on the first on the list, that's bootstrap. And then I'm going to click on install. On the pop-up dialog box, I'm going to click on OK. So this is going to install bootstrap 5.2.3 in our project. So once the installation is finished, I'm going to close, I'm going to close this, I'm going to close this, and then I'm going to close this. As, as you can see right here, the installation is finished. So I'm going to close this also. All right, so two folders has been added in our project. That's the content and the script. Before I show you what is inside this um, content and script, we are going to add a new web form. So for we to do that, I'm going to right click on our project name. Then I'm going to navigate my mouse to add, and then I'm going to click on web form. All right, so for the name of the item, that's the item name, I'm going to type index. So we're going to use index. So for this, it's going to be index.aspx. So I'm going to click on OK. All right, so you have it right there. And we have a default code um, right there. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to set my language to English. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to say lang equal English. That's en, that's for English. All right, so for my metadata, I have, you know, I have it somewhere here. I'm just going to copy it so that I don't waste too much time on this video. I'm going to paste it here. All right, so that is going to help us with the responsiveness of our website. So um, what I'm going to do next is that uh, I'm going to add the CSS. Okay, that's the bootstrap. CSS. I'm going to reference it um, on, on the head element or the head tag. All right, so we are going to start with the 
bootstrap.main.css so I am going to look for it right here and then I'm going to drag it and place it inside the head tag okay so I'm going to also add another um, bootstrap.bundle.main.js so for me to do that I'm just going to I'm done with this guy I'm going to close it I'm going to open the script then I'm going to look for um, bootstrap.bundle.main.js I'm going to um, drag it and add it also then one more thing I'm going to add bootstrap.main.js going to look for it bootstrap.main.js I'm also going to okay let's just place it here okay that's good so I'm just going to save it so we have been able to reference our uh, CSS and uh, JavaScript okay in our project so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to close this um, so what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to show you how to use um, this bootstrap inside your ASP.NET application so on the first div tag I'm just going to start with it I'm going to add a class so okay so the classes are now coming up so I'm going to add a class which is going to be a text dash bg dash dark okay so that's the first class that we're going to add the second class is going to be text dash center so here we are going to have um, a small dark background like a header and then the text that we're going to enter inside the div class will be aligned to the center all right so that is what i've done the classes that i've called right here all right so inside this div tag we are going to you know use the h1 tag so i'm going to say h1 and then i'm going to enter the text inside here as how to use bootstrap in asp.net all right so inside here we are going to add another uh, p tag now for this we are going to say resize resize the page to see the responsiveness resize the page to see the responsiveness okay so i'm going to save this now if we right click on the index of AS, um, aspx and then we click on view in browser so let's see okay so that is what we've done the you know small piece of code that we've added right here this is the output all right so right here what we're going to do next is that we are going to add three columns all right column one column two and column three so let's go back into our visual studio code environment so what, what we're going to do right now is that i'm going to add another div tag all right so on that div tag i'm going to add a class and that class is going to be a container class okay so i'm going to expand this all right so inside the, um, this div tag i'm going to add another div tag all right so on this div tag i'm going to add a class and that class is going to be the uh, that's that's the row okay now inside this div tag i'm going to add another div tag and that div tag i'm going to give it a class as um column that's call dash sm dash four okay so that's what i've decided to use here and then what i'm going to do right now is that I, i'm going to use the h3 tag okay so after here i'm going to add two p tags so these are, are going to be a paragraph tags so i'm going to need two of these p tags so i'm just going to copy this and paste all right now since we are going to need um 
three columns just to show you how this works column one column two column um, three so instead of me to waste your time and you know typing all of this again i'm just going to copy this from here okay that's the first column and then this is this is going to be the second column and then this is going to be a third column okay all right so on the first html sorry on the first history tag so i'm going to say um first i'm going to say first column okay so here i'm just going to paste a dummy text I'm going to click here i'm going to copy this dummy text right here okay it's a demo video so i'm going to paste here and then on the second p tag i'm going to copy this second dummy text all right so instead of me to continue pasting this i'm just going to copy this two p tags that i have already entered text so for before i paste it for this second history tag i'm going to say um second column second column okay so i'm going to paste this all right so right here what i'm going to do right now is that uh, i'm going to add this column right so i'm going to say um that's the third column all right so here i'm going to paste that again then i'm going to save so let's go back to our web, our web browser then yeah for we to see the changes i'm going to refresh or reload the page right here okay so these are very simple methods on how to use bootstrap in asp.net so, so for the responsiveness i'm going to show you um that this um, demo page that we've done here is responsive so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to click on this maximize um sorry um restore button i'm going to click on it all right so see how the columns that were horizontally placed in three columns they are now stacked on top of each other okay so that is the responsiveness and then if i should resize this again let's see if, if, if we can resize it okay so that is it that is it so they are responsive the page is responsive as you can see the columns um the first columns the um, second column and the third column they are all stacked on top of each other okay so if i should take it back like this if i should resize it like this see see the responsiveness so these are all different um screen sizes okay a different um breakpoint okay so if i should resize it again see so that's the responsiveness of this um web page so guys if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please click on the subscribe button if you like the video click on the like button and also turn on the notification bell thank you so much for watching